part 2 video regarding convulsive disorders okay in this uh, we are discuss about uh, recurrent convulsive disorders okay it is also one type or subtype under the convulsive disorders okay first type we have discussed you know already in previous videos that is the uh, febrile convulsions okay in that febrile convulsions uh, what uh, atypical febrile convulsions typical febrile convulsions up to that we have discussed already in previous video okay in this video we have discussed especially recurring convulsive disorders okay in that uh, term is there you no know, recurrent repeated many times okay normal non single time here many times once the patient will be affected this uh, seizures uh, one or more times okay many times the children are affected by these seizures that's why we are called as the recurrent convulsive disorders okay in this uh, what happens means uh, epilepsy is a, uh, this disease condition is a one type of neurological system problem okay mainly the disease will be affected to the or some abnormality to the nerves okay the nerves are receiving uh, excessive impulses or abnormal impulses from the brain that's why we are called as this this is condition is to the neurological system okay in this what happens means how we are identified the children's nerves is affected by this disease of recurrent uh, convulsive disorders uh, how we are identified means uh, the children are suffering with the paroxysmal or recurrent uh, neurological discharges okay the neurological discharges they are showing okay what is that neurological discharges means uh, with activity is we are doing in the presence of nervous system okay that activity will be abnormal okay uh, any many functions any activity we are doing means in the presence of nervous system activity okay in the presence of nerves receiving some uh, impulses from the brain okay the nerves not receiving any impulses from the brain means okay we are not doing any activity okay that's why the children are showing some activity that is the neurological discharges okay the disease or recurrent neuro convulsive disorders mainly identified in the preschoolers okay who are uh, not going to the school those children are having this disease affected by this disease of uh, convulsive disorders uh, next uh, in this also having two types okay recurrent convulsive disorders having under subtopic subtypes that is the two types first one is the partial recurrent seizures another one is the generalized recurrent seizures okay these are the two types is there under the recurrent convulsive disorders okay first one is partial recurrent seizures okay what it meaning means in this uh, simple partial seizures is there complex partial seizures is there okay in this uh, uh, partial recurrent seizures also again divided into simple partial seizures complex partial seizures okay depending upon the some symptoms some activity we are differentiate the children with suffering with the simple partial seizures or uh, complex partial seizures okay once the children coming to the hospital okay the children is only suffering with the febrile convulsions or uh, recurrent convulsions or uh, simple partial seizures how we are differentiate means uh, for this question we are uh, uh, having that answer that is the motor signs okay once the children is affected by the disease of uh, simple partial seizure simple partial convulsions means the children are having abnormality in the motor activity okay what is that abnormality especially means uh, the seizures will be seizures nothing but abnormal activity okay the abnormal activity starting from one point okay it will be spreading to the more body parts okay for example the brain having uh, some abnormal activity okay from the brain uh, especially in the temporal lobe means uh, the temporal parts the temporal organs what is there 
that what having the this seizures okay abnormal activity abnormal sounds abnormal noise abnormal movements they are showing okay for example one part half of the body they are having seizures means remaining half of the part for example the patient is uh, having one uh, abnormality in right side means right side uh, parts what is there for example right eye or right ears or right side nose right side mouth or right side right hand okay this activity having abnormal activity movements they are showing abnormality but this left side body okay left high left hand left high left cheeks left nose left ears okay these parts are having normal activity okay half of the body or uh, particular special parts uh, involving this abnormal activity why because in the brain okay what is that uh, 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 sensory or motor activity is there okay for example cerebrum affected by this disease or cerebellum affected by this disease or uh, pons affected by this disease or spinal cord okay which part is affected by this disease okay those part having one function okay receiving or sending or visual or speech or respiratory function or whatever it may be what is that special function is there the function should be having abnormality okay means here what happens simple partial seizures means uh, first uh, the seizure will be starting from one point or starting from one part uh, that will be spread to the many parts okay or other parts that we are called as a simple partial seizures okay next uh, in this what happens means uh, some uh, uh, sensory or auditory or uh, visual abnormality okay they are showing they are see, observing one mobile means uh, uh, cooperation of uh, two eyes they are observing that mobile okay who are having this uh, simple partial seizures one uh, left eye only observed that mobile right eye having uh, another vision okay another side their eye observation is there okay next auditory means for example the re right ear having some receiving some noise okay or the right eye having good hearing capacity okay left ear not having hearing capacity okay here means uh, who which part is affected by this seizures okay those part function will be abnormal okay uh, next uh, another one is the autonomic manifestations okay some other uh, uh, types of uh, convulsions uh, autonomic manifestations what are the autonomic manifestations for example abdominal epilepsy abdominal body parts what are they there in the abdominal region for example stomach is there or uh, some uh, uh, structure is there no intestines or uh, small intestine large intestine whatever it may be that abnormal organs having some seizures okay seizures nothing but their normal function should be abnormal okay what is the structure what is the function of stomach okay storage of food and digestion of food okay that function should be abnormal okay due to the seizures the backflow may be there in that food okay normal function uh, we are taking food means the food should be stored in the stomach the food should be digested some uh, amount in the stomach and that will be transferred to the small intestine large intestine okay like that that is the normal process if the children see is affected by this abdominal seizure the food should not digested the food should be regurgitation okay like that some symptoms we are identified in the children who are having this uh, seizures or convulsive disorders okay next uh, another one is the uh, generalized okay in this generalized what happens means uh, lvc for a moment okay loss of consciousness the children are uh, having good eating but they are not having consciousness okay some moments means uh, for example we are uh, touching a person or uh, children the children cannot receiving touch perception but uh, they are having good hearing capacity 
okay hearing capacity is normal but uh, touching capacity perceptual movements perception they are not receiving okay we are touching or we are pinching okay we are pinching or we are beating okay this impulses they are not receiving but they are having good hearing capacity or good eating process or good appetite or they are maintain a good respiration means one movement having loc okay some other movements having normal okay like that this generalized partial seizures is there in this uh, rolling of eyes for example the children who are suffering with the typical convulsions means they are having a loss of movements okay loss of consciousness in a movements for example the children who are having a typical convulsions means they are having one symptom like a rolling of eyes okay continuously their eyes should be rolling and sometimes their head should be having slight movement sometimes nodding of their head head movements okay one movement should be having abnormality another movement having normal functioning okay these are the movements we are identified in the children so uh, sometimes the children are having myoclonic seizures okay in that myoclonic seizures what happens means uh, involuntary contractions of limbs okay upper limbs or lower limbs they are having involuntary contractions okay in this what happens a uh, group of muscles with be lvc okay many of the muscles uh, sometimes the children are having group of muscles or many of the muscles loss of consciousness okay many of the muscles loss of consciousness means comfort complete body having a uh, uh, loss of consciousness unconscious state uh, many of the muscles but uh, upper extremities or lower extremities or upper limbs or lower limbs having some contraction okay contraction nothing but movements is half of the movements they are doing okay half of the work they are doing remaining work they are not doing for example uh, contraction the fingers are open okay in this uh, affection of uh, myoclonic seizures they when how much time for example the duration 6 minutes or 10 minutes or 20 minutes okay the duration or 2 minutes or 3 minutes seizures is there means continuously they are showing this activity okay after uh, re back or come back to the normal then they are closing okay in the presence of this uh, activity of nervous system abnormality they are showing one movement like this okay when the seizures when the fits when the epilepsy is there in the patient then contraction is there okay without the epilepsy their uh, activity will be normal open close okay like that we are differentiate the or we are having the one observation in the children who are affected by this disease of convulsions some movements are doing some muscles are doing one activity some muscles are not doing activity proper they are having involuntary activity why because in that brain having some abnormality okay what are the reasons what is the main cause for the children why the children having this uh, abnormal activity okay in childhood stage they are having perfect vision perfect hearing capacity perfect eating okay whatever activity is there their developmental stage they are doing normal but uh, in their body in their brain some abnormality is there okay due to some reason some causes they are having this type of abnormal activity okay what are the reasons why the children suffering with the convulsions okay regarding that we are discussed in further videos Okay thank you everyone thank you for watching this video this is the part 2 video regarding convulsions